Hello, this is a video showing you how to navigate your CSU Online Plus course. So once you get into the course, you can see the toolbar on the left and the home page. Know that you can shrink or expand the toolbar by clicking these two arrows. Um, on the toolbar, you can go to certain areas in the course, so discussions, I can click that and see all the discussions associated with the course. Um, click course content just to get back to the home page if you need to. So on the home page we have the welcome page which has some text about the course and how to navigate as well as a phone number and email address for the RAMCT help desk which uh, you should contact if you're having technical issues with RAMCT. This course has the lessons broken out with each of the topics and it also has an introductory video from the instructor. The syllabus is posted on RAMCT but I... Okay, going back to the home page uh, there is a an about your instructor page as well. You can see a photo and some text about your instructor and another video with your instructor introducing themselves to you. Hi and welcome to JTC 340 video editing. I'm Jamie Switzer. Okay, back to the home page there are links to the syllabus and course schedule. The syllabus has the course policies and required textbooks and things like that. The schedule has uh, the due dates for the assignments as well as each of the lessons or modules. And in the learning modules, this is actually where you'll find the meat of the course. So we see 15 lessons here. I'm going to open up one as an example. So on the left, we see four pages associated with this lesson. The first one are the learning objectives. The second one is the lesson content or you can think of this as the lecture so this course has narrated PowerPoints. In this lesson we're going to talk about shot composition. Okay the next page is reading and activities. Uh, this course actually links out to an external site for its readings but they could be direct links to PDFs or it could just be text telling you to read a specific chapter in your textbook. Finally, there's the graded assignments page uh, where it lists each of the assignments that you'll do for your lesson or module. Oftentimes there's a link on the top of this page uh, taking you directly to the schedule. It's the same one that's on the home page. Um, and the actual elements for these uh, assignments like the quiz and the discussion forum are located underneath the graded assignments uh, link here, but if you don't see them as you can't right now, make sure to click this little plus to the left and then um, you can actually access the discussion, for example, directly. And so we see discussion number two here. So another way to access that same discussion would be to click this discussion uh, area in the toolbar and then we can see discussion number two here, which takes you to the same place. Uh, by the way, these green little stars mean that there's something new in this area since the last time you logged in. So in discussions, uh, you know, there are nine new discussions since the last time I've logged in to RAMCT. Finally, on the home page, there are just supplemental documents related to the course. Uh, there's a discussion guidelines document, which, you know, kind of tells you how to act and how you'll be assessed for the discussions. This course has a video guide because it's very uh, media heavy. Um, there's a RAMCT student tutorial, so if you click that, that'll take you to a page um, telling you how to use a RAMCT sandbox uh, place so you can play around and kind of get more familiar with RAMCT just um, in general, if you like. There's a link to Academic Integrity, Online Class Netiquette, um, and this course in particular just has a folder linking to some supplemental documents that are just specifically related to this course. So one thing to note is that your course may not have all of these elements, but it most likely will have some. And please be sure to email your instructor if you have any questions.